Hey guys, it's Dave. Wanted to chat on the first episode of our health module, diet or exercise. If you have to choose one or the other, what is it going to be? I've been pretty fit for my entire life, so I haven't had the challenges that most people have had with weight. Um, I have had the challenges that most people had had with food um, and just having an insatiable appetite and can eat almost everything. What I've found in my personal experience is diet is extremely, extremely important. There is something I've read about, and it's an 80-20 rule, 80%, 20% rule, um, that the main things that make up your, your body composition, 80% diet, 20% exercise. This is not scientific. This is not science. Um, it's kind of a an overall philosophy that... Uh, I don't know, the health community has come up with. And I have found that I, you know, I'll go to the gym. A lot of times I go at 5 a.m. And uh, I will see these other people that are there. And almost every single time I'm there, they're there. So they're probably there more than I am. Probably there every day. And a lot of them don't look great and it's not that they're working really, really hard. It's that they're most likely failing in other aspects of their life. Um, and not necessarily other aspects of their life, other aspects as in diet. Um, mostly, you know, I find that the guys that look amazing, yes, they're working out ridiculously hard. That, that's bar none. If you want to be top tier bodybuilder, um, you're going to work your butt off. But the guys that look really, really good and don't work out as hard just dominate it on their diets, on their what they're eating, what they're putting in their body. Um, I find that they are ridiculous at calories at knowing how many calories they're putting in their body to understand how many they're burning how many um, and uh, I feel like you don't actually have to don't actually have to just eat chicken breast just eat broccoli just eat these things that are really low calories um, you just need to understand how many calories you need to take in and how many calories that you are most likely burning at, to, to be at a certain body weight. And if you understand those numbers, the calories in, calories out, then you can understand, uh, well, I'm eating too much and that's why I'm getting bigger or I'm not eating enough and that's why I can't gain any weight. Um, and that's the, you know, those are the main main factors that, that I see. I just the thing that pains me is seeing these people that work out so hard in the gym and they're still overweight, but they're doing all the right things in the gym. They're probably just missing it, missing the ball um, on their diets. And it's almost a chicken or the egg scenario here. It's so important to nail your diet because if you don't, the gym doesn't really matter that much. And I guess it all depends on your goals but if you're crushing on your diet, you can look great and you don't even need to really work out that much. Then when you add the workout in afterwards, it's almost like the icing on top of the cake. Um, so I definitely believe that that diet um, and just understanding what you're putting in your bodies as far as calories is so important. And I don't even like to say the word diet. It's more lifestyle and it's more just understanding and comprehending calories. Um, I found that that has been grossly helpful. Um, a few action items, um, action items again with the counting calories, 
one really easy way is eating the same foods, um, i.e. eating the same breakfast or eating the same lunch or eating the same dinner. I know it sounds boring, but you'll understand the calories that you're putting in and you'll kind of be able to adjust instead of eating something different for every single meal and not understanding. Um, there's also tools here like my fitness pal. I'm sure that will change in the future, but you can just type in certain foods or scan the barcodes and it gives you the calories. Um, understanding, I'm looking down at notes. I, I, um, I have tried a few different diets, whether it's keto, whether it's these different diets or just eating a certain way um, and following a diet plan. And a lot of times it's not about the diet plan, but it's kind of what you're learning on those diet plans or what your, what your epiphanies are of not that you're going to stick to these diet plans forever, but just kind of understanding, you know, some sort of a Mediterranean diet and what it's rich in and, and the calories and just kind of understanding all the different diets and kind of creating your, your own sect of, of how you want to live, what you want to eat. Um, and I, I've just, there's different things from, from different experts that, uh, that when I'm following their plans, I just, each one of them does things a little bit differently. And, you know, I start focusing on sugars or fats or something different. And then you kind of gain knowledge from everybody. Um, resources that I have been using, um, I've been Dr. Berg on YouTube. So I'll give him a big shout out. Um, he has some great, just different videos about health and about calorie intake, um, and, and what you're putting in your body and what's bad for you, what's good for you. Um, other resources on this thing. I definitely relook at my seeking expert advice on this because that can also help uh, a great deal, whether it's a dietitian. Um, or whether it's just making sure you're not following the wrong person that doesn't know what they're talking about. Um, so I hope this helps you in some way. Um, if it does, please like, subscribe, comment, share what, what you have because the purpose of this whole channel is to learn and grow. And, uh, and I love you guys and talk to you later.